every year's tale of enlightenment. Your players get ideas, get figure out how to win, figure out how to do things. But this seems to be a more prolonged process for this team, doesn't it? Like a light went on this year, a little bit where they had a goal to start and followed through on the goal and realized that you could put put hard work with talent, things good things can happen. That seemed to have been elusive up to this point. Yeah, and uh, you know we talked about it one year ago today. We sat in the locker room and we thought we might have had the chance to get in. We probably didn't do enough to get in, but had the chance to get in. And uh, the team decided that they were just going to change their attitude and their mentality. We did a lot of work in the spring about character um, and things that we wanted to bring. Um, and for me, there, somebody was asking about the Big Ten Championship and how exciting that was for me. And I said, to be honest, it was everything leading up to it that was more exciting. And then when you get it, it's kind of like, it was all that work. So um, this group, it's really been in my coaching career. This is, you know, a lot of Penn State had a lot of talent, so they were managing them. This group actually changed. And I think that was the most inspiring thing for me as a coach. What wasn't there that had to be there that finally showed up? Their individual accountability. Um, at this time, they were saying that I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything as a coach. And they took the responsibility as individual players that they were going to do something. So have, being a coach and seeing a team take ownership of itself, that, that rarely things are more gratifying than that from a coaching standpoint. It, it's incredible because they were joking around because some blog guy said this would be my legacy if they won the Big Ten tournament. And I said, it's, no, them as people are going to be my legacy, not the actual win. So that was more important to me. And, and I said, win or lose. I, what these guys have done to change themselves and the program means way more than any victory. Was there a moment? Was there a, a trigger mechanism for this whole thing? Was it uh, sitting in the locker room a year ago, or was there more to it than that? Sitting in the locker room a year ago was exactly it. So there's a on my board in my office says all the things that we wanted to change, and I said, do not erase until we win a Big Ten championship. I can erase it now. On a whiteboard? I'm yeah, saying. but I'm going to keep it there because I think it's going to be important. How big was this weekend for the program, and, and especially in, on Sunday and you know what you were able to do? Um, I think uh, for the program, it, it helps recruiting. It helps uh, just the confidence, but it also shows players where they want to go. I think if you've never experienced a championship, they don't understand what the work takes to get there, but also the feeling. One of my concerns going into Sunday was that Iowa had been in the final game, so they felt it before, and we hadn't had players who had had that experience. But um, I'm excited that they can't overcame that, and they kind of build on it. Are they now that you know where you're at and what you're doing for postseason? What what do they just put today behind them? You know any disappointment they might feel, and and how do you focus them on just you know keep winning games? Well, I think we have to start by reminding them that at the beginning of the season, no one really picked them to do much, and they end up getting a four seed. That means that they're in the top 16 in the country. So we have to go back and take a step back for that. And then I think uh, what Andy said is we have to have a chip on our shoulder. I think we have to prove to people what we can do and prove how good we are. And that's the only way to make people turn their heads. And I think that's what we're going to build on. With regards to this whole process of commitments, were they pointing fingers? Or were they just not taking responsibility for things they did wrong? I think they're doing a little bit of both. Um, there wasn't individual account accountability, but they were pointing a lot of fingers at each other. There was a lot of... Um, infighting and saying, well, she's doing this, she's doing that. Um, and we did a lot of uh, role playing and talking about how we talk to each other and how we build each other up rather than tearing each other down. And um, they really kind of built that. And some players changed their bodies. They got fit. They did things that you never thought they would do in for three years or four years, and they actually changed it.